Hello, this is Dr. C, and this is Select a Design for a new presentation in PowerPoint. Well, instead of taking one of our designs, we're going to go to the File menu and go to New. And instead of selecting Blank Presentation, we're going to browse some of, the, of these designs. Let's look in Education for a moment. There are school presentation designs that already have some test data in it so you get a sense of how it looks. Let's select this one. And it takes a moment to download. And then it's going to appear. And you'll notice they're, they're telling you to type over your project name here, your name, your teacher's name, and your school. And then as you go to the next slide, this isn't your data at all. This is an example of how it might look. They have inserted a photo or image right here. You could too, if you wanted to replace that. Here they have some text that is nonsensical. It does not have meaning. It's just there to show you what would the text look like. That's 14 point. If we look up here, that's really small. I recommend that you try never to go smaller than 20 point if you're going to do a presentation for people who are going to be in a room or from a distance or if it's online and you're not enlarging your content you'll notice I often and I should do that right now right I should zoom it so you can see it a little better and I'm going to zoom it to let's say 120 percent and when I do look what happens it's larger than the slide space that's why we tend to use this if we can click on view and fit to window to get it back where you can see it okay there are other some other styles here and, and you do not have to use these that are part of this. this these are examples to give you ideas how you could use bullets and some call outs how you could put a table in your slides and then populate the table with data you'll notice the table is partly see-through so you're still seeing the stars behind it and then, of course, you could have your references here. Let's look at another one. We could click File. We could click New. Instead of blank, we could say, hmm, I'm going to look at themes. I'm going to look at lots of different themes and then make a choice. This is going to load. And once it does, we're going to be able to preview what these look like on the right-hand side. Notice here's the crayons theme. So you get a sense of it right there, how large it is. You can even rate it if you really like it. Here's the animated captions. Let's see, and that happens to be Seattle in the picture. So if you are fond of Seattle, you could pick that style. Uh, here's um, another one from Microsoft that has the mountains. Let's pick that one, see what that's like. Okay. So you, they're telling you, go ahead and put your title here and your second statement or your name and then below it there are instructions and this is for how to use animations we're not covering that in this video but you can always use this style and follow their steps here in the notes if you wanted to see the notes easier go to view go to the notes page and then they pop up and they, theirs go, are going really long so you could instead go back to normal and click on the outline mode oops they're not appearing though so you have to get that from the notes page or here's what you can do drop your cursor in here do a control a or go to the home key and grab a select here and say select all and then you can save it and put it into pa into words so you can read it easier. That's another method. You can also drag, well, you can drag it up a little bit to see it easier also. When you get done, drag this back down so you have a smaller notes area. Well, this has been a quick look at how to select a new presentation style or design uh, using PowerPoint. I'm Dr. C, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.